there's this new process that we really need to talk about, and it's called the Bessemer process. It makes the mass production of steel possible. Invest now in the Carnegie Steel Company, because steel is about to change the world. It all started with Henry Bessemer in 1856. He developed this new method of purifying iron in his lab in England. You see, if you don't purify molten iron, when it dries, when it hardens, it's brittle. The surface is uneven. But Bessemer's new method of purification makes everything very easy. The idea is that air is blown through molten iron, iron that has been loaded into Bessemer converters or blast furnaces. The extreme temperature of this molten iron ignites the oxygen in the air getting blown into it. The oxygen burns off any impurities, any minerals that are in the molten iron. And when that molten iron is poured into a mold and allowed to harden, when it dries, it's perfect. It becomes steel. The surface is smooth. It is lightweight. It is strong. With mass-produced steel, the possibilities are really endless. Before the Bessemer process, making steel was very costly, very time-consuming. Therefore, using steel was kind of limited to small-scale projects, small-scale production, stuff like samurai swords. But the Bessemer process will make steel cheap and plentiful. It will make new large-scale projects possible. Steel can be used to build suspension bridges. Bridges not just supported underneath by pillars, but also supported from above by strong steel cables. These bridges can hold a lot of weight. Steel can be used to make stronger railways than iron. Steel is harder than iron, therefore it will wear less over time. It will require less maintenance. Steel's lightweight is perfect for the production of vehicles of all kinds, automobiles, trains, boats, even airplanes. Steel frames are strong enough to support extremely large and tall buildings. Skyscrapers are not possible without steel. Andrew Carnegie, one of the most brilliant businessmen in the United States, has invested heavily in the Bessemer process, and these investments are on track to make him one of the wealthiest men in the whole world. In 1864, the Carnegie Steel Company completed the construction of the world's largest steel mill in Pittsburgh. Its location along the rivers of western Pennsylvania is extremely convenient, as all this steel that is being mass-produced can be loaded onto ships and transported to trade routes everywhere within the United States. And when it comes to steel, there will be no shortage of customers. The railway industry needs tons of steel. They are building thousands upon thousands of railways throughout the United States. And with all the manufactured goods of the Industrial Revolution, there's great demand for train cars made of steel to transport all of these goods to markets. Cities are expanding. Larger buildings are being constructed than ever before, and these steel frames will make them stronger. And of course, so many industries have become mechanized, and steel is important for manufacturing many of the machinery used in factories. Steel is also used for making higher quality hand tools than iron. The United States military will need a lot of steel to modernize the Navy and they will use steel to make better, stronger rifles than ever before, as steel barrels are able to resist higher temperatures without warping than iron ever could. So many people have so many different uses for steel right now. And if the Carnegie Steel Company is going to be able to meet this great consumer demand, they will need investors to help expand their operation. So invest in steel production now. Invest in the Bessemer process. Invest in the Carnegie Steel Company. Do it today and tomorrow. You will join Andrew Carnegie among the ranks of the wealthiest men in the world.